one room schoolhouse. All right, so what we're gonna do is build a small room, okay? Very small room. Hit four on the keyboard. You got your player in there. And I know at some point you're gonna have to have a doorway in it, right? And another thing is we have to make this double-sided also. So if you hit, well, let's first make the doorway. Insert edge loop. Now, how do I, how big do I make the doorway? Well, I make it about yay big because I got the player character in there and I know how big scale is. So I can go like that. And I can hit face and delete. Okay, now here's the exercise first. Before we even worry about inside and outside of things, let's worry only about uh, what the room looks like on the inside of it. Okay? Let's trim away all the fat. And don't forget there's a thing called normals, okay? So normals, if we want to look at them, we can go in display, polygons, face normals, and I can see that these face normals, uh, let's see if I could do that again, display, polygon, face normals, I can see these normals are facing out. So that means the inside of the room is going to be transparent. So let's go and reverse that. And then let's turn them off because they're annoying to look at. All right. So one room schoolhouse. In our schoolhouse, we're going to have a brick texture, some wallpaper, and some tile. Okay. Well, we already have brick, right? Yes, sort of. Okay, think of it as a one-room schoolhouse, and we've got to build it from the ground up. Not using the brick texture that we had, per se, yet. But let's go in, and let's get some stuff on the internet. Uh, let's go into here and say floor tile. And I'm just going to heavily rely on the internet for some really quick, cheap textures. This looks pretty good. Classic five by 12 floor tile. Somebody already made it tileable. Hmm, good. I'll save me the time and energy of doing that. Edit paste. And what I just did is copy pasted it into Photoshop. That way I have it there. Okay, now in other words, I need rock. Or maybe wallpaper. Let's go look at our wallpaper. Yeah, that's right. We live in an era where wallpaper is something a little bit different, right? I like this wallpaper. It is ugly as sin, and it's very low res, but that's all right. And the guy's a loser for not keeping it up on his internet site. Shame on him. Okay, this is pretty cool. And it's super high res. So copy that image. Go back into Photoshop. Hopefully it's not too high res because sometimes high res equals... Okay, good. Sometimes high res doesn't like to be high res in Photoshop. And then for the last one, I'm going to choose brick. And this time I'm going to go on the internet and find brick. That's ugly. And again, I really like high res brick. So here's a here's a way in, Sure.
Sure, we'll go with this. Okay, and then we'll paste that back in Photoshop. So we're developing a one room schoolhouse based upon these textures. And these textures go on the wall. How? Well, that's going to be answered here shortly when I say we have to make UVs for them to sit on. And how we make these UVs are very important now because in our one room schoolhouse, we have a perfectly square building. Okay. And then later on, we might want to stretch that up some. How about we do it now? Better to teach hard. Okay, so that one wall's a little bit different. And in our one room schoolhouse, what I do is I have one wall, then I'm going to take the faces of, and I'm going to say, I'm going to create UVs, planar map them. And what that just did is in my UV texture editor, you're going to find that I have those now mapped out and they're really, really, really long. And I'm going to make sure that I move them. Okay. All right. So there's that one wall. Now you're going to find the other ones. They're sitting there and they need to be mapped out too. Okay. So here we go. I'm going to take these and I'm going to map them out. Now I'm going to save you a little bit of time here and saying that's the way you could do it. There is another way in here that says um, automatic mapping. And what's going to happen is your walls are perfectly flat. So it's going to work out. So let's just save the time and energy and say automatic mapping is a really good thing when building just the one room schoolhouse. And I can highlight sh uh, these shells by highlighting one UV, going into UV, highlighting one UV, holding control, right click and go to shell. And I can move these shells around. Now, I can't do any real texturing here. I have to do that in Photoshop. But what I can do here is make sure these shells match up with the horizontal axes on my machine. So, uh, in other words, uh, if I go to face and I highlight this face, is it right there? Yes. And this one, look at that. This one's not horizontal. So, I'm going to have to go in here to this model. and take the UVs, go to shell, and rotate this around a little bit. Just like that. And is this last one lined up? The last one's actually a floor tile, so I'm not really too concerned with it. I'm more concerned about this one being a little jacked up right now. So let's go back and rotate it just a skosh. There we go. All right, now what I need to do is UV snapshot this out. And I want to snapshot it in a pretty big way because here's what's going to happen. I'm going to have three textures on one space. So that means I'm going to have to have a lot of resolution in order for that to work. Oh, and I want TGA here. And I must select the polygon object, of course. So that's this. And I always want to put this on my desktop because it'll get lost on my hard drive. There we go. Save that out and OK. All right. In the next video, let's kind of stretch our textures on it and see how that works.